Hey guys, what is up? It is Nixium here with another quick video about Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, in this game, the developers put in a very unique way to save your game. The only way to save your game is you need to sleep in a bed, you need to fast travel, I think if you travel a certain distance it quick saves, and also you need to complete certain stages of storylines and quests. But the other way to save your game, if you're just out in the wilderness and you want to save real fast, is you have to drink an alcoholic beverage called Savior Schnapps. But the problem is, is that these Savior Schnapps can cost quite a bit of money if you're trying to buy them from a trader. But the good thing is, is that you can craft these things through alchemy. So I'm going to show you guys where you can find the ingredients to make this alcoholic drink, as well as explain and show you the recipe and the process for making it at the alchemy lab. So let's just shut up and let's get started. So first things first, I know this might sound scary, but first you need to learn how to read in the game. Why? Because in order to read your alchemy book, you, well, you gotta know how to read it. Duh. So, where do you learn to read at? Well, once you get to Rate, look around until you find the alchemist inside the city. Ask him if he knows anybody who can teach you how to read, and you'll start a small quest that will take you to the town of Ujits. I guarantee I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, make your way over to this town and there you will meet a scribe. For a fee of 50 coins, that's 50 coins, he will sit you down and he will explain to you how to read, even quizzing you at times on your knowledge, so be prepared. After that, you are ready to go. Now, you just need the ingredients in order to craft the alcoholic drink itself, and those are the herbs Nettle and Belladonna. Now, nettle is very easy to find in the world. In fact, you can even find it growing all over the city of Rate. So inside the city, just run around and gather a ton of it like I'm doing here. The belladonna, however, is, well, unless you buy it from an herbalist, it's a little bit harder to find. But luckily, you can find some growing not too stupidly far from Rate. If you read the description of the plant itself, it says that it grows in clearings and leafy woods. So run out to the forest just east of Rate and start looking around. What you're looking for specifically is a plant that's about waist height that has little purple buds growing on it. As you can see, I found a big patch here in this area, but I'm sure there are other patches littered here, there, and everywhere. Now that you have the herbs, it's time to craft. Fast travel back to Rate and go into the back room of the alchemy shop. There, you will find a lab station to work at. Now pay attention, kiddo, because this ain't Skyrim, okay? This, this system don't work like Skyrim. In order to craft a potion or this savior schnapp or whatever, you need to follow an exact formula or else the alchemy process will fail. You'll see what I mean. Now, you could read the book, which is what you're supposed to do, which is what I did, and do your best to follow the instructions, maybe fail a couple of times, but I know you ain't got time for that, which is why you're watching this YouTube video. So, <laughs> shut up and listen carefully, because this is going to get a little complicated, so take notes. First, at the alchemy station, turn to your left and grab the jug of wine nearby on the shelf and fill the cauldron. Then, turn to your right and grab a single handful of nettle and throw it into the cauldron. After doing this, pull on the bellows once and then flip the hourglass over. Once the sand is almost run out and once the flame is dying down, pull on the bellows a second time. Now, while the flame boils the wine and the nettle concoction, reach over and grab a handful of belladonna. Now this is very important, so pay attention. Throw the belladonna into the mortar and pedestal, but then you need to grab a second handful of belladonna and throw it into the mortar and pedestal as well. This recipe requires two handfuls of belladonna and one handful of nettle, so just be prepared for that. Don't forget. Now, use the mortar and the pedestal to grind up the herb and then add it to the cauldron with the wine and the nettle. Afterwards, use the bellows one more time to heat up and boil the mixture, then look to your left and grab yourself a potion bottle. Wait till the fire dies down, and then finalize the potion by looking at the cauldron and holding E on your keyboard. And that is it. It should say that you succeeded in making the Savior Game Potion. 
as you can see, the game is a little bit more complicated than your average just F5 or F6 to save your game system, but I think it's pretty cool. Just from my one trip to the forest, I was able to make six save your snap drinks, which I know will hold me over for a good long while. Just don't save your game super liberally and you'll be okay. So yeah, you'll be all right. But anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Hopefully this helps some of you. Good luck out there. Don't get killed by bandits. And thanks for watching.